Hey everybody, this is Dean FM, and today I wanted to do another reaction video. My favorite wholesome LGBTQ plus TikToks for the two year anniversary. I'm not sure what the anniversary is for, but this is by a channel we've reacted to before. It's called Gremlins United, and I love wholesome stuff. As always, please make sure to check out my Facebook and search Dean FM, and you will find my music. My album Eclectic is out. Please check that out, or you can just stay and enjoy the time. What you gonna do when you see Joe Byron in the Oval Office? I'm gonna give him a big old kiss. Hey, yo! I would too. I would give Byron a kiss. Today's gender is the old person in the scary movie who reveals the spooky truth. Gender? Why, gender's been dead for 25 years. I know there was a time period on that. So I don't think it's ever been alive. Trigger warning, loud noise. Hurry up, hurry up, let's get there. I hope all of you have students a really for getting good married. break. And just a reminder that this time next week, KJ and I will be married. <laughs> That's the reaction I want. That's the reaction. May I have your name and pronouns, please? Dean, he, him. No, not those ones. The ones you were assigned at birth that don't fit anymore. I'm taking them from you. You're free. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if I could take your pronouns too, that'd be great. You know, uh, here's a question I would like to pose to the audience. If you had a magic wand when it came to your gender or when it came to your just overall lifestyle, what would you like to change? If you could change anything about who you are, what would be your ideal situation, you know? So that's a good question. Like, I would love to, like, to do that, to do the hocus pocus. Hocus pocus, y'all gonna talk this out. Taking them from you. You're free. That's so nice. Mm-hmm. Please do. Guys, my mom just admitted to being homophobic. All I said is that I wouldn't buy you an ice cream cone at McDonald's. Same thing! Yeah, let's not, let's not use it. Those straight guys that say things like, If you ever hit on me, I'm gonna fucking kill your ass. Y'all can hit on me all day long. It makes me feel pretty. And that's what I'm saying. If you are a straight guy and you don't want to be hit on, you have a right not to be hit on. But, you know, I wouldn't say kill somebody. <laughs> I wouldn't say, like, punch them to death like like i don't know like like or some or some weird shit like i no, no we don't gotta do all that we don't gotta be all dramatic and extra if somebody hits on you unless they are like groping you and some shit like that then i guess you can give them a little bitch slap you know <laughs> or you could say farewell or In construction order off slot new built omring is that german what is that those are dykes. <laughs> hey, you should have gotten that. You, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> My favorite thing that my roommate does is when she finds mail that has my dead name on it, she will hand it to me or put it on the table upside down, you know, like a failed test. Like when your teacher passes back your test and you failed. Face down. That's sweet. That's some nice humor. I don't know if I'd, I'd want to be reminded of that. I'm Pearl, and we have uh, been together for 50 years. I, do you, we just do. We are in love, and we tell each other that every day. Hmm. God bless. Oh. Oh. Somebody wants to tear those two women apart. Can you believe that? Mm -mm. You just came out to your parents, and they told you to... What? Oh, this family welcomes you with a jeez. Ooh, but that's dark though. Yeah, you should you should have happiness to begin with. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to get shelter from people telling you to end your life. And then your family. Wow. 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 I just want to take this moment and say mad props to the Olympics for not misgendering people. Even in an event called Women's Skateboarding, they stuck to this person's pronouns. And I talked to Awana a few days ago during practice and asked how they were approaching this event. And they said, I'm just trying to enjoy the experience. And I said, how, how's that going? Uh, are you good at that? They said, no. See, middle America, it's not that hard. You gotta get it together on our day pronouns. I always say it's gonna take people some time to get to know your pronouns, but work with them. 
Uh, we can't attack people. We certainly can't attack people. If they're just trying to work on it, we can't attack people. We gotta not be... Something I was thinking about, too, there's something to be said for being hostile towards what, what needs to be hostile towards. But when it comes to people who you're just correcting or people who say the mistake or whatever... For me, if I was to be attacked for any reason, even if I accept that I did something wrong and I apologize, I would still be a little turned off from whatever that person's given, you know? I think psychologically, that would be very beneficial to society. For people in the LGBTQIA plus community to work with people, as we all should, of all sides, we need to have, unless you're questioning my life, unless you're telling me to underline myself, then we, we can work it out. I think so. I have hope for humanity. I get so anxious every single time I go through them. And today I went me through too. and I me got too. like pulled aside. They were like, we're going to have to pat you down right now. And I was yeah. like, oh my no. God, no. <laughs> they always the lift agent, up my like, hair and do some shit. The hand over my chest and he's mm. like, what have you got there? And I was like, it's a chest binder and mm -hmm. he was like oh my god that's so cool where do you get them from <laughs> i said gctv and he said that's what everyone says is it good and i was like yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but now that i'm humorous. out of TSA, you can make some humor out of that if, if you if that was you mr tsa man can you call me <laughs> mm. so i went to a public restroom today with my four-year-old daughter and it was a situation where we walked in and the person that was inside walked out and closed the door. So we went into a stall and started going to the bathroom and a couple stalls over was what sounded like somebody else was peeing. Mm -hmm. And my four-year-old says, Mommy, that sounds like Daddy peeing. And I said, Okay, do you still have to go? She said, Yes. So she gets up there and she's going potty. And then I hear, <clears throat> I am so sorry. I thought I was alone in here. And I said, That's fine. We all just have to pee. So we come out, we're all washing our hands, and the young lady's sitting there and just washing her hands, trying not to make eye contact, and I said, don't worry, do you want me to make sure nobody's at the door when we go out? Oh. We're going to go all out together, and she said, yes, please, that would be great. I just had to pee. She just had to pee. Period. That's on period. But yeah, that, that was so well said. A lot of these stories turn out with awkward awkward, awkward, awkward things happening. I'm thankful for the mother at the end for, for saying all that she did. There's many bad people. Let's leave it at that. Just acknowledge that if somebody did you wrong, if somebody hurt your feelings, there is bad in the world. There is definitely bad in the world. It's definitely possible that you are not the problem. That's all I'm saying. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.